Hey guys, Pastor Andy. Hey, I didn't do devotions with you this morning, um, and I'm going to tell you why. I'm on my way back from a meeting with a, another pastor, and um, what I read this morning, God just kind of told me to do. And so as I read this morning, I read the first 30 plus Psalms is where I'm at in my devotions. And the thing God told me to do, and I, I read it a couple of times this morning, was to wait on the Lord. Just wait. Not to be in a hurry, but to wait. And I don't know why he's told me to do that, but he just made it okay for me to uh, go ahead and share it with you while I'm driving back up here today. But God has just had me really and strongly impressing on me to wait on him. I've been praying about a few decisions and things that I have been just asking him for wisdom and clarity on and, and what I need to do. And I don't know why he's he's chosen to do that, but it's just wait. Just wait. And so I want to encourage you. I know I'm going to be real short because I'm almost back to church now, but I just wanted to encourage you today that not everything that we face we have to deal with immediately. Not every decision is a, I have to do it right now. I think Satan a lot of times tries to get us to be in a hurry. And when we're in a hurry, we make mistakes and we forget to pray and we forget to bring the Lord into our decisions or we just make a rush snap prayer and ask him to uh, step in. But really strongly today, he's just been impressing me. Andy, just wait. Just wait. Just wait. I don't know what's going on in your life or or what decisions or feel like you just, you have to make them right now or you're going to miss out. Kind of like that, the, the car salesman who tells you, you know, this deal's only good for the next 24 hours or the next, until you walk out that door and then this is no good anymore. And they try to push us into a, a decision. And I believe Satan does that to us many times, tries to get us to push into a decision and we miss what God wants to do. God can put us into a holding pattern. And, and maybe the reason he's been talking to me about this is because on Sunday we're preaching about Abraham and how Abraham was called to go and he didn't know where he was going to go. And then he had to wait on God and the decisions that Abraham made and the things that Abraham did caused him to have to get stuck in that holding pattern for 25 plus years. When we make bad decisions, sometimes God has to just kind of put us there and make us sit almost like a timeout for kids um, to get our attention where if we would just wait and trust and have faith, I believe God would work out a lot more of the problems and things that we deal with, the decisions that we need to make, that we rush into. If we'll just wait on him, he'll make clear what he wants us to do. We can never, ever, ever get in such a hurry that we forget to wait on the Lord and let him. And he'll make it clear God's not holding his will out like a carrot on a stick trying to tease us to get us to jump. And, or like that commercial, the the insurance commercial where the dollar bill is on the end of the fish He's trying to call me, but that's okay. Um, God's not like that. God is asking us, he's asking me today to wait on him, to just wait on him. So I want to encourage you with that today. Don't be in a hurry. Don't be in a rush. Wait on the Lord and he'll make his will clear. He'll make his way known. He'll make a way where there seems to be no way. Let's wait on the Lord. Father, thank you for your word. Thank you for speaking to us. Help us to wait on you and to make sure that when we move, we are moving in your will, being led by your spirit. Help us to wait on you, to not be impatient, but to be patiently waiting for you. We love you, Father. Amen. I don't know who that was for today. I know it was for me. God spoke to me about it, so I wanted to share it with you. Hope you guys have a blessed day. Bye-bye.